All about that speed. Sick, and then we'll get right on. So, uh, Dwight's sister just took off. Man, it was a disaster. What? I thought you were golden. <sighs> Wanted to treat her right, you know? <laughs> Show her a good time, let things simmer a bit. Any old idiot can land one-nighter. I want something more. Like what you and Trish had. Well, anyway, she comes over and says she can only stay a minute or two and starts talking about, uh, I don't know, how she really digs me, but she sees me as a friend. I'll always be your friend, Zeke. She actually said that to me. Oh, man. Now, women are something else. I never will understand them. Spine's still stepping out of the way. Fell the matters. Spine goes by my. Kept in the infirmary for several days. Had my own room, and other than a nurse, didn't see anyone. I tested the door five times, and it was always locked. Checked the IV, and they had me on a steady dose of dolaphine. So much for their healing abilities.
that. This is fun there. Really, but I fucked up that time. Ah, I still can't do that. Damn it. A small ass ledge. I've got the high road, motherfuckers! Ow. So I was walking over to help Trish load up her bus, and I see Dwight's sister hanging on some guy's arm. She didn't even look at me. Sorry, man. I should have known better. She's always been like that. Ah, it's no biggie, though. Freeze me up to play the field. See what else is out there. Catch you later. The power throw again? Now! This is your...
Ow. Let's... I need electricity. Anybody to see? Okay, damn it. And receiving reports of unauthorized drones patrolling the warren. Since they're not ours, you should look into them. It also sounds like the dust men are planning a quarantine break. All right. One other thing. Tell your friend Zeke to stop calling me. If he wants to play hero and track down leads, that's his business. But I don't need to hear about it. Zeke, what the hell are you doing? Do this shit. Uh, 
redirect an airborne rocket by firing a standard bolt at the target you wish to hit. Oh, oh god. Look, it's not my fault that Julian walked in my truck into water, right? I'm not right there. I can't be able to responsible for that. They know I'm a lick man. Oh, this is gonna be funny. I don't wanna do this, I wanna do this so bad now. Was introduced to Kessler today. There's some kind of metal device attached to his right arm, and his face is scarred, probably the result of an accident. One of the other guards told me that Kessler has been the leader of the First Sons for decades, but that he vanishes for long periods of time. Initial impression is that Kessler is a true believer. He has an agenda, and he's going to carry it out. Follow it a bit. We may have to move against him sooner than we had initially planned. I, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna cut your Chris, because that's the easiest, the easiest thing I can read on there. I'm sorry. Oh god, frames, my by frames, wait, I need those frames. I also need less suiciders. Run away, run away! Oh, there, never mind, run away! Uh, where's the closest, uh, oh, this is Ah, uh, fuck, this one that's closest to the medical clinic. For safety's sake. I did a frickin' lucky, get this, this shit out of my way. Why are the civilians on the road? <laughs> Whoops. Oh, crazy, so many with six foot. Who blew up the gas station? It's not my fault, there's not my shit, my god. The dust men think if they load hostages on their boats, the military will back down and let them pass through the quarantine. And let me guess. The guys with the guns aren't gonna play ball. All forces positioned along the quarantine line have standing shoot on site orders. Any vessel attempting to cross the harbor will be destroyed. No questions asked. You're going to have to find all of the hostage boats and disable their engines. If those boats leave, a lot of innocent people are going to die. I don't want their blood on my hands, Moya, but I really don't see what this has to do with our deal. If I can't maintain control of this situation, I will be replaced. They'll bomb the island, and you'll be a fugitive. No deal, no nothing. You understand? Yeah, sure. Good. Don't ever take that tone with me again. Ouch. I'm a big sick. You don't get started.
So I'm gonna just scooch on over to here and then go slow on that. Maybe I should go make a deal with them. They want results, Cole. That's all that matters. If we don't deliver, they'll find someone who will. Well.
Alright, this works. Hey Trish, how's the hospital looking? The outside is pretty trashed, but the inside is in surprisingly good shape. I've already moved a couple busloads of people over there. Right on. I've been thinking that we should sit down and talk sometime, you know, figure out what happens once all of this is over. Sure, whatever you want. I'll talk to you later. I'm gonna stick a motherfucker in the air, because that'd be just fantastic. Which would be top fucking classic. Hey, Red Band, I guess that's for. uh. but for doing some of the stuff, I think. Probably. Wait, 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 wait. Damn it, Dad. Get. Oh, oh boy, that's a, that's a not great. That's not great. Say this. <laughs> Never thought that was the effect was it should have been. Oops. Look, that was fantastic. That should have worked so much better. Guys, why are these things play? Why are these things everywhere? <laughs> Why is everyone everywhere? I I flung down like four or five of the fucking buckets. The motherfucker. He's
uh, decent to know that, you know, Division 2 is not just, you know, fucking great, but it's, uh, it's, it happens, unfortunately. No audio settings in this fucking game. <sighs> Looks like there's one more boat cold. Get over there right away. What if I don't? Are they gonna start dropping bombs? The president signed off on the order a week ago. If the plague reaches critical threat level, he'll make the call. No questions asked. And they'll glass the whole city. Just like that. It's standard protocol when it comes to containing biological threats. Like it or not, Cole, you're in this all the way. Uh, I should my mic a little closer to my mouth. Will that, will that help at all? I will audible <clears throat> well, it's not this is the perfect person now because it's not that loud right now in the game. This is not, you know, a million shots being fired. Um to answer the question doing these me annoyed that, you know, you was thought that fucking division two break would that happen, but you know it's even though game shit happens. Yeah, they did kill him. <laughs> uh, I have an adorable Mr. Game up on my lap. If shiny thing, thank you. Oh, oh did the fucking suicide of Chimney got a cricket. Why did they have so many RPGs? <laughs> oh no! I love watching the things fucking fly back around so fast they get. I am a machine gun! I am a gun! Jesus Christ, car! I said one day good! Under the show! Hey, X 
gonna be more heroic. Fuck yeah, I'm already here. That was the last of the boats, Moya. I know you're not happy about the situation, Cole, but we have to play with the cards that were dealt. That's just the way it is. Medic at the end of that dock is being held hostage. You've got to help him. All right. Now. I'm already in like almost halfway to hero status and we haven't even gotten to the third island. Why the fuck are you in here?
Just keep on blathering. You'll get yours. Motherfucker with God and Marie the Gold. Your GPS says that you're at the shipyards. What are you doing? Killing the bastards that kidnapped Zeke. It's his own fault. You can't run out and rescue him every time he gets into trouble. I don't abandon my friends. I do over time. Well, I can use it. I'm sorry about that. You know, while I'm here.
something. That oh look. That'll come. <laughs> what what is this pose? What is what is this pose? I got shotgun bastards. I cannot run away from shotgun bastards. Ah, bastard. Me 
Don't look at me, don't look at me, don't look at me. Oh, god damn it. Why is everyone got a grenade in their ass to throw at me? access to the primary lab. Audio surveillance will begin within the next 24 hours. I've placed two recording devices in the lab, which should provide optimal coverage. I'm also going to... Oh, that happened.
went to charge off the thing. It's just like a shot. Anywhere you fucking fucking not just an enemy. Awesome. See what the trash baggers are up to. Are you insane? You're lucky they didn't kill you. What are you saying? That old Zeke needs to go back to his roof and just chill? That he's only good for a laugh and a beer, but when it's go time, he ain't worth a damn? That what you're saying, Cole? This isn't a game, Zeke. Not anymore. But just because you got powers doesn't make you better than everyone else. Not by a long shot. Makes you a whole lot more survival than most other people. That's for fucking sure. Thank you. That was gonna happen. No, sorry, Bob. That's sorry, Bob. No, she's there. What's so funny?
John, you're an asshole. By the way. Change in assignment. I'm now tasked with protecting a woman named Sasha. She's supposedly researching mind control techniques. Something with a spray or a gel. My gut tells me she's a honeypot, so I'll need to be careful around her.
going to the kitchen. I'm gonna get this. Awesome. There, 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 there. Okay, good. I never got hit before the explodes. Kessler follows. Test subject number 345A is exhibiting remarkable signs of progress. The pituitary region of the brain has grown by 39%, and small muscle regeneration is nearly instantaneous. I do have some concerns with the lack of proper blood flow to the lower extremities. Oxygen absorption in those areas is off by 3.6% a rather substantial decrease that could impact the subject's performance. We'll need to perform more tests. One. Your phone doesn't have the bandwidth to transmit that much data, so you need to find a satellite uplink. There should be one on the roof of the old Coleridge building. Hopefully it still works.
Blood. bitch. This third fucking island. What the fuck? I did not know that was possible until now. You should have everything. It's going to take a while to sort through all of this. I'll let you know if I find anything of interest. Just find that damn sphere so I can get out of this shooting gallery. Last of my gear loaded onto the bus, but the Reapers are blocking the way to the hospital. I need your help getting past them. Maybe once we get over there, we can sit down and have that talk. We'll see. We've got a lot of sick people that need help. They come first, Cole. Of course they do. I've been keeping an eye on you, Cole. Watching you parade around like a damn peacock, showing off every chance you get. Pathetic. That's real tough talk from a guy who tortures people. You still don't get it, do you? You don't get any second chances. Every time you fail, someone's world ends. Ends in the worst way imaginable. I learned that the hard way. And by God, you're gonna learn it too. One way or another. Tell you what, crawl out of your hole and meet me somewhere. Then we can settle this once and for all. All in good time, Cole. All in good time. Background information. 
The origin of the first suns dates back to medieval Europe. Exact date unknown. Hey, brother. God, you sorry I was such a prick back in shipyards. I really screwed the pooch on that one. I know you mean well, Zeke, but the world is changing. You make a mistake now, and you're as good as dead. Hell, I know that. But you know how it's been for me? No family, broke all the damn time. When this quarantine went up, I thought it'd give me a fresh start. Let me really be something. I know where you're coming from, Zeke. We have to be careful now. All of us. Background information. The origin of the first sons dates back to medieval Europe. Exact date unknown. Because they were viewed as witches or in league with the devil, they were forced to flee to the New World in the 17th century. Once settled in America, the group continued their meetings and experiments, focusing on telekinesis, precognition, and channeling. This is probably apocryphal, but current members claim responsibility for what happened in Salem in 1692 and 93, and use those events to validate their mentalist abilities. Background information. Membership levels surged after the Civil War as they sought out people who shared their interests and beliefs. But it was the arrival of Richard Tate in 1892 that resulted in the creation of what we consider the First Sons. Tate's primary goal was to use the technology of the time to unlock the true power of mentalists. Tate firmly believed that emerging technologies, particularly the work of Edison, could be used to enhance the group's mental powers.
Yeah, let's go fill it again, which like it's probably a mission. I'm pretty sure it is. Okay. a cache of documents relating to the work of Luigi Galvani. It's obvious that someone, probably Kessler, took Galvani's ideas of how electricity interacts with muscles and tried to expand it. Bunch of stuff here about creating a new kind of ion, but I don't understand it. Get a copy of all of this and send it to the P.O. box. They escorted Sasha into the Warren tonight so that she could meet with some older man. Don't know his name, and Sasha made it clear she wanted the meet kept a secret. As for the Warren, it's even worse than I had imagined. Homeless people everywhere, people starving, buildings on the verge of falling down. Someone needs to take a bulldozer to that place. Background information. According to the group's official history, research surged ahead and numerous breakthroughs were achieved under Tate's leadership. Side note, no evidence remains of any specific breakthroughs. Repeated requests to witness anything created during this era were denied. End side note. After this Tate's death, the off. First Sons formally designated Empire City as their base of operations.
A romantic relationship has formed between Sasha and Kessler. Although it largely appears to be on the level, occasionally Sasha will mutter that Kessler isn't doing as he's told, or that she doesn't understand why he's different. She's clearly referencing something beyond the usual power dynamics present in any relationship. This world, regarding the appearance of super-powered individuals within Empire City, officials from the Pentagon, CDC... glimpse of a device Kessler calls the Ray Sphere. It's about the size of a basketball and appears to be constructed from two halves that are connected via an array of electric cables and silicon boards. An unknown object occupies its center. At first blush, it looks like a bomb of some type. I'm gonna have to track it carefully. on my last trip. They must think I'm working with the Dustman or something. There's no way I'll make it back to the hospital on my own. I'll take care of them. I had Roger rig up the roof of the bus with metal mesh, and a generator will keep it electrified. Should provide a non-stop source of energy for you. Wow, that's really smart. Oh, they don't let dumbasses into med school, Cole. Once you're up on top, we'll head out. If you need to jump down, I'll stop the bus and wait for you.
off Chris. Why did they charge? Let me fucking charge, god
Just undo it. Now. Wait. Blast that stuff off the road, Paul! Ah, shut the fuck up, man. Hey! Thanks for the spawning. I got my hand on a picture of a dust man's leader. No idea yet, but I'm going to run it through NGI. I'll update you when I have a date. He was groomed from an early age to assume control. That is, until Kessler showed up. Alden disappeared into the streets, growing up scared and homeless. But there's no fear in those eyes now. No, the blast has made him powerful, gave him the tools to combat his paranoia. With a flick of his wrist, he threw the bus on top of the hospital, sending a message to anyone that would challenge him. Trish still inside that thing, I had to act fast. Not that I could do anything to Alden. He was already gone. Hang on, Trish. I'm coming. Just sign your death warrants.
Oh, they just uh, tuned me with rockets on the wall and then they shot me out of the street. God damn it. Sure. I'm shit one second. Stick another grenade before I explode. Take me down with the shock of precision. That's. What happened? Assholes, everyone with their shotgun can run, which is bullshit. Boy, 
boy, did you pick the wrong guy to screw with. Thing going through my head was you and how things stand between I'd us. I never let anything happen to you, Trish. I know you didn't mean to kill Amy, Cole. That you've been trying to make things right. And I need to stop being angry at you. It's just been hard for me. I want us to be together again. Like how it used to be. Better not freeze your face for all the things that are on the mind. Tracking a couple developments, Cole. There are rumors that a large-scale conflict might erupt between the cops and the Warren and the Dust Men. Look into it. I can't believe you, Cole. Running back into her arms. She's not a lover. Not like me. Think of the things I could do. I. Okay, well, like I said, it is one in the morning. I'm gonna save this and then go to the foot. I'm gonna go to the next week first and then go to the foot to save it. Check meter fills to full good or full evo press to attack the karmic overload. Trip your tongue out of the limit. Damn. Alright, now I'll save it. Alright. One in the morning. Bedtime. Okay, bye.